For decades, nuclear energy has been one of the most debated topics in the world of power generation. Some hail it as the ultimate clean energy solution, while others point to its risks and costs. But with the urgent need to combat climate change and rising global energy demands, the question arises, is nuclear energy the future of power? Nuclear energy emerged in the mid-20th century as a revolutionary source of abundant, cheap electricity. With a single kilogram of uranium generating thousands of times more energy than coal, it seemed like a futuristic solution. But accidents like Chernobyl in 1986 and Fukushima in 2011 exposed its dangers, leading to widespread opposition. Countries like Germany phased out nuclear entirely, and global nuclear power capacity dropped between 2011 and 2020. Yet today, nuclear energy is making a comeback. Why? The twin pressures of reducing carbon emissions and ensuring energy security are forcing nations to reconsider nuclear power. Global warming is hitting record levels, and nations must meet their Paris Agreement targets. Nuclear energy, a low-carbon power source, offers an alternative to fossil fuels when renewables like wind and solar aren't enough. Countries like France, South Korea and the United States are ramping up nuclear investments. France plans to build up to eight new reactors, while the US wants to triple nuclear power generation by 2050. Even tech giants like Microsoft, Google and Amazon are getting involved, investing in advanced nuclear technologies to power their energy-intensive operations. One of the biggest barriers to nuclear power has been the high cost and complexity of building large plants. But a new technology, small modular reactors, or SMRs, could change that. SMRs are designed to be smaller, cheaper and quicker to build. They use standardized parts and can be deployed closer to where power is needed. While still unproven on a commercial scale, SMRs are attracting significant investment and could make nuclear energy more accessible. Despite its potential, nuclear energy faces major challenges. First, there's the question of safety. Disasters like Fukushima remind us of the risks. Second, the cost of building and maintaining nuclear plants remains prohibitively high, especially in Western countries. And then there's radioactive waste. After 70 years of nuclear energy, we still don't have a universal solution for safely disposing of it. Finland is leading the way with a deep underground repository, but most countries are far behind. The nuclear energy debate remains polarizing. Supporters argue it's a clean, reliable and indispensable solution for achieving climate goals. Critics counter that it's expensive, risky and not as clean as it seems, urging investments in cheaper renewable energy like solar and wind. So is nuclear energy the future? The answer depends on solving its biggest challenges – cost, safety and waste disposal. While it's not the sole answer, it could play a crucial role alongside renewables in transitioning to a low-carbon future. What do you think? Is nuclear energy worth the risks or should we focus on other solutions? Let us know in the comments below 